The Earth is obviously and observably flat. Wrong. Gentlemen. Somebody's got to do it. Where is that spot track? Let's just pop the bear a bit. Let's just name some people that can't prove the stuff that they believe. Flash like, Arcane can't debug Rantis' observation. Flash Arcane can't debug Rantis' observation. She's just ignored it. Flash Arcane can't model the can't model the conspiracy cats thing with an atmosphere, but claims that it's true anyway, but devoid of an atmosphere. I say no. Flash Arcane, Red's rhetoric, um, all their ilk, their claims before <coughs> was that the Inferior Mirage was hired. It was where the curve of the Earth is. It's true. <coughs> oh, 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 that must hurt them. Nathan, I've had a concession um, that I'm not allowed, I can't say who because it's a trusted baller. Um, but I've been told that um, Red's Rhetoric actively told his people on his panel not to mention your name. <laughs> In other words, don't mention Nathan Oakley, let's not publicise him because derp a derp a derp. But your name's actively now not mentioned on uh, anything to do with Red's Rhetoric. Oh, apparently. good. Yeah, it's like not wanting to mention the rapist. Yeah. <laughs> I rammed that ass so far up his ass that now he doesn't ever want to mention me again. Well, yeah, it must have been painful. <laughs> yeah, because the second I see him, I'll say, right, let's see your maths. Oh, what's that R value you assume me there, Red Rhetoric? Everything you talk about hinges on it, doesn't it? I wouldn't want to talk about me either, because I destroy all of your arguments, Red. That's why you don't want to talk about me, because I'd absolutely pummel you if you ever made any assertion, because every assertion you make requires an assumption, doesn't it? Ah... And that's been rammed up, say, good and proper. Didn't you say Red Rhetoric was your bitch? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, bit of a problem. We have on the one hand Sly saying one thing, but we have Rumpus on the other hand saying the opposite. So what are we to accept and believe to be true? Nah, the earth is, the earth is flat. flat. That's what you can accept, because it's blatantly <laughs> obvious. And all of their mathematical nonsense that says we need to add pixels or remove pixels or quantify anything we ever see ever is nonsense. As flat earthers, we don't need to do any of that crap. None of it is necessary. There's a boat. There's my explanation. Didn't need one. It's a boat. Oh, what's that you say? Oh, maybe there should be earth curve in front of this clock. No, I just say clock. There it is. I see it. It's there. You can go and photograph it yourself if you like. It's a clock. It's at Barrow. Do I need to explain it? No. Oh, what's that you say? You must explain it. <laughs> right. Well, that's because you've got a religious belief. So that clock shouldn't be there, you say. Well, it is. There it is. No explanation needed. Shout out to Retro Bill for the super chat. Listening every day and loving it. Thanks, Nathan. Ah, oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Retro Bill. There you go. Clock. End of explanation. Church. <coughs> End of explanation. Boat. End of explanation. I can hold up my mouse and say mouse. No explanation required. But in the world of globe tards, beyond a certain distance, things suddenly start need explaining, don't they? Suddenly they're slightly looming non-standard refraction hyenas of an island in the distance. We just say, Isle of Man. They say, slightly looming non-standard refraction hyena. We need to get this into the program. We need to look at it compared to the model. We need to explain why we see it when we shouldn't. No, we don't need to. Isle of Man. End of explanation for a flat earther. Nathan. What I've got is an open platform, 400 plus shows of globe head after globe head coming to challenge what I say. That's what I've got. 
This is Sparta!